Today is Wednesday, April 17th, I believe. Just double check that, I believe that's correct. Yes, it is. It is approximately 9 p.m. And I have made a new uh, spark cap. The only difference here is it's just the piece of pipe mounted to a piece of wood. Some right in there for you. As you can see, the copper gets hot enough to burn the wood. So that's still one of those little kinks that needs to be worked out. It's set roughly to a credit card thickness um, in between. It almost works with five, but it works really well with four and, and with, with just a bit more than a credit card worth of thickness. Um, nothing else has really changed. We have the breakout point again. Gonna go ahead and do another test here, just for video. And there it goes. So what you just saw was the coil slowly heating up. Well, actually with the gap slowly heating up. I can smell the wood burning. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera for the smoke, but that's the next step to work. Anyway. I apologize for the overly shaky video. I'm doing this myself tonight. I don't have any uh, any helpers. And just to prove the whole wireless transmission idea, although I guess John proved that yesterday. I'll stick the pipe. I'll stick the uh, light on the ground rod. We'll go back out on light again. We'll see if I can get it to light up. So yeah. Essentially, once the coil heats up, it stops functioning really well, so that's something I really do need to take a look into. Um, yesterday, we were having issues with the PVC pipe melting, and since I did remove that piece of PVC, I went to have it. Uh, yep, there you go. That's what happens when you uh, heat it up a bit. The interesting thing is part of that PVC pipe is also yellow, which is where the uh, UV radiation got to it and you know discolored it, which is something that you know if people work around PVC often they, they're fairly aware of this issue. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.